hello and welcome to an episode of Ragecraft. Today we're going to go over the end dragon, or at least my technique for taking the end dragon on. I started off in a creative world here. I actually recommend for most people if you're creating a new world or you want to know where your end is, just go get your seed, go and find it, it's so much easier. Now first off, the things that you're going to really need in order to complete this is everything in this inventory. This is it. This is all you need to beat the end dragon, no sweat off your back. Now right here, feather falling, not optional. Everything else is pretty much optional. I mean, except for this, slow falling. Slow falling, feather falling, both of those, they're just not optional against the dragon. I mean, you can do this with a stone sword and just boots and the, yeah, you know, you, you have to have a bow. I do infinity, so I only have to have a few arrows. I'm gonna need at least 12 eyes of ender, probably more, because in order to find the end portal, you take an eye of ender, and you throw it with the alternate selection. Now, currently, these are just kind of crap armor, as you see. They're not the best. They're, any player out there would be able to get them, and this doesn't even have an enchantment on it. It's just a plain old right there. I only want to have one of my feather fallings out, or no, I think, I think I'll make it two feather fallings because we're going with such an empty inventory. Now, a good idea might be, I mean, I'm in creative at the moment, so I'm going to set all this up right before I go in. A really good idea here is to have yourself some building blocks. You can go and like collect in stone which is in the end which the end dragon can't delete which is the only advantage to in stone and not having anything when you go in there's another optional feature but i'm gonna i found the end portal already using my eyes of ender and i'm in creative so i'm gonna go into here now we're just gonna change our settings here so we're no longer gonna be in creative we're gonna be in survival we're no longer going to be in a lower in a peaceful mode either, because I want to show you this the right way. I just my world's like eight nine months old. <sighs> my end does not look like an end. I mean, it's got uh, I can't remember where I found the end portal. I think it was down here. But, so I figured I'd just start a fresh world, find the end real quick, set myself up with the things I would have if I was going up against this battle and make a video. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the end portal has these silverfish. They don't drop anything, so they're kind of useless, so you might as well just come up and destroy that spawner. Silverfish are completely useless. There's absolutely nothing you can really do. Now, as I was saying, you're going to want at least an ender chest to take with you. A lot of players, including myself, would put a bed right here for a respawn spot. I really don't care. I'm just here to show off a simple technique for taking on the dragon. And honestly, the confidence I have in my skills to do this, I don't need a respawn. Plus, I'm on easy mode. Hard mode, I definitely put a respawn because I cannot guarantee a no-death battle. But, let's solo this thing. Okay, here we are. This is one of the reasons you want to build, bring in some building blocks. So that you can get across here. You may not need to get across here. Ooh, I think I ticked off that Enderman, but he has nowhere to teleport to. Just in case I didn't. Oh no, he's mad. You can tell his mouth is open. But for some reason he just... Ooh, that was a close call. I don't think he can teleport to the block I'm standing on. I think that's what that is. Let's see if he comes up here, because I know he's mad. So whatever you do, don't... See the little crosshair in the middle? Don't look at the Enderman. So we're going to start off with a potion of slow falling right away, because we just don't want to put up with that. Now let's see what we got going on here. Did we luck out? We may have lucked out. Okay, he will come after me when he comes. See, this is why potion of slow falling. This is where you take all your damage. 
Now, this is the other reason proportion is slow falling. I'm about to nerd pile my way up. Now, one of the reasons they recommend you getting in stone is because the dragon can't delete it. But let's just... The dragon is attached to that thing when I blow it up, he'll actually get injured. Here comes the dragon. But these things right here, you gotta destroy them. They're healing him. Ooh. There we go. I don't appear to have any of these covered in um, metal bars. A lot of times they'll be covered in iron bars. I just don't see any covered in iron bars. I'm actually doing really lucky here because normally he would knock me off of this thing. It's not nearly high enough. It helps if you're a better shot at arrows, you know? I'm not the greatest shot here. Okay. Screw this. I'm gonna get me some in stone. I'm also gonna up oh, there's some iron bars. Oh, when did I take you off? Sorry folks, this is a gonna be a bit of a longer video. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm not gonna edit it. I'm just gonna show you solidly beating the end dragon. So it may take a second. Hence the four slow falling potions. Because you're going to need those slow falling potions to last you the entirety of this battle. This one, right? I uh, can't tell. Oh no, it's that one. Whoops. Just keep collecting, keep collecting. In stone, he can't delete it. That is the important factor. I mean, you can come in with two or three stacks of just building stones in order to do this with, and it works perfectly fine, but. And the reason I'm not nerd piling right next to it is because one, I have slow falling potions. And honestly, that was one of the reasons I guess I was still a little close. Ah, oh, crap. He is more likely to hit you the closer you are to the pillar when nerd piling. At least th that's a pattern I've noticed. I don't know if it's actually the case. But. This is why you need to come in with a whole bunch of material. Mind you, I set this up beforehand in creative. I should have set myself up all the way, but I didn't want to be, you know, that guy. Okay, did my slow falling wear off? Crud. I didn't even notice. Feather falling. Once again, useful. Once again, slow falling has proven to save the day. Sorry, this is probably getting very boring. Part of it is, is I, re I really am 
You should come in with better gear. You really should. I'm just trying to prove you can do it with crap gear. Should probably eat something soon. Bars, take out these bars, take out these bars. While he's on there, he's immune to arrows, by the way, just so you know you cannot shoot him down there. Take that one out. Sorry, I'm such a bad shot. There we go. Gonna have to collect just a little more in the stone. I'm trying to do this as solidly as I would if I was going in to do it, like, on my own, as uncheaply as possible. And what I mean by uncheaply is, like, I'm trying to minimize the cheat aspect of this fight. Because, like I said, I'm trying to show you I'm not trying to show you, but I am doing this as easy in the early game as possible. I mean, yeah, I've got those golden carrots there, which are nice. You wouldn't necessarily have golden carrots. You might have regular carrots or whatever for food, but do you notice how I'm barely taking any damage from him? Even in hard mode, hard mode. He's still the same thing. I mean, you come in with three or four stacks of just... I mean, you know, so I'm not even paying attention to the dragon. It's like he's not even there. Enderman, I'm not paying attention to him. It's like they're not even there. My challenge is to beat these towers. Now, I just want to... No, it's this one. 48 seconds. Because it's almost time to beat the dragon. I'm probably not going to need much more of these slow falling potions. I want to be closer. I'm just going to do it like right here. Ha, huh, thank you. Now, that was fortuitous. coming after me right then. See that? My timing was great for that. See how that's missing some stuff? It's because he deleted it. I'm pretty sure. When he flies through anything that isn't in stone, he deletes it. From the world. Okay, there's one, two... Okay, so I see two. We're gonna want to do a nerd pile like I did in the beginning. Get these last few. And I think these two are going to be it. See that? Whoa! Slow falling saves the day again. Da -da -da -da. So I'm getting just a little bored myself on this. It's so much harder without the elytra. Once you get the elytra, combining a slow falling potion and elytra, you are a god. Oh, okay, it's right there anyways. This is getting annoying. He'll keep doing that. But once again, as long as I have some slow falling in the backup, feather falling to prevent actual death, you know if my slow falling wears off or whatever. And I'm pretty sure I still have two more slow fallings in the backdrop. This 
I, like I said, I'm making this video purely for showing you how it's done, not that I'm doing this in my world. And believe you me, this is not like, oh, I started up. Oh, dear God. It hit me with some breath. And that's why instant health. It's off. So why potion of strength? We'll get to that in a minute. And that's for freaking dealing with him when it comes time, but that was just harsh. If you have some empty potion bottles, which, if you're doing this right, you probably have a few empty potion bottles. You can collect that breath, and that breath can be added to potions. See it right there? And it creates what's called a lingering potion. It's like a splash potion that just stays in the area like a toxic cloud, like a stink bomb or noxious gas. You know, I mean, this game literally has it all when it comes to potions. <laughs> But I'm sure you all know that by now. He becomes a heck of a more of a struggle to defeat once you beat the drag. I mean, once you start destroying these crystals, he seems to, he does. He gets tougher, he gets more aggressive, he attacks more often. Arg! You quit attacking me. Oh god. Mr. Annoying. These guys can be so annoying, 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 annoying. Is that the dragon? That was the dragon. I know they're both right there. This is literally, though, the best strategy. If you bring a crap ton of dirt, dirt's a good example. Don't do sand. <laughs> that could be a big mistake. And honestly, if you can get this high enough, the dragon can only fly so high. Um, that is one aspect of the dragon, but I didn't want to, like, take advantage of that. That's just cheap. I think I'm still within his flight range now. Yeah, I'm not that good of a shot. I'm used to playing Call of Duty with stuff like this where you can just spray and pray. And is that? Yes, that is every single one. Now the dragon is my plaything. I didn't realize my slow flowing was gone. Instant health! Slow falling! Ooh, right on time! Potion of strength! He's immune to air That was a good hit. This is also why infinity, so you don't have to fill up your inventory with arrows, because it takes a lot to hurt him. Make sure you don't get caught in this stuff, that can be a heck of a lot of damage right there, getting caught up in that. 
as you see, he will start coming at you like crazy because he is angry. You are hurting him. I mean, his AI system has much improved. the egg. Just always keep one thing in mind. You should bring torches. I did not. I think. Okay, that made it go somewhere. There it is. I'm not 100% on this, but I think you can do it with iron bars. Because they're like torches or fences. Oh, shoot. I'm just gonna try it. Yep, you can do it with the iron bars. So, you make sure to drop it like you would gravel to mine with a torch. You know. But yeah, don't forget the dragon egg. You can also pop it off with a piston, but, you know. That was easier. That's all there is to it. So what's gonna happen here now is this portal's gonna open up here. <laughs> That'll instantly transport you back to your spawn, wherever your spawn is. And I don't mean spawn point like the main spawn of the map. I mean it'll transport you back to your bed, wherever that may be. Next thing. And these things over here take you to different points where in cities are. You build up to it, you throw an in pro right into that little thing in the center, and it'll take you off to a random section of the map. Every time you kill the end dragon, it'll have a chance of spawning one of those up to 20 around. And those can take you to the infinite depths of the end. Now. These guys are goof. Now. You want a really easy way to beat the Hidden Dragon. He will spawn in peaceful mode. He will be aggressive. He's a hostile mob in peaceful mode. I just didn't want to take that cheap route. <laughs> well, thank you guys. This has been Ragecraft. I have blown off some steam and blown up a dragon. Have a good day!